Good morning and welcome to the morning after. Coming up, we have a segment with Elena on who you would rather have for dinner, an odd news with Taylor, entertainment with Cynthia, and much more. So stick with us. Welcome back, and Natalie, this is the last show of the semester. The last show. Of the semester. No. Not ever, so. Cool we'll be back horses. next semester, we but I will be back be. next semester. She won't. I got fired. But, yeah, she got fired. Um, but Natalie, <laughs> how was your weekend? It was good. I had this Thanksgiving charity give-off thing I had to do. Ooh. Um, with my class, we went to Stop and Shop, and we handed out, well, we don't, or we raised money first obviously because okay. we weren't just using our own money right. and we went out and we gave elderly people $25 gift cards and to, to the to stop and shop to stop and shop yep oh, we went up to random people it's kind of like a that's random nice. acts of kindness is that, is that the, when you were collecting the money with yeah my roommate we raised a thousand dollars so it was pretty cool one thousand that's mm -hmm. that's very good it's yeah. very very nice uh, any anything fun um, alumni weekend was this alumnus, weekend. Alum, I like saying alumnus. Do you like alumnus? Saying alum? I alumnus. Mean, alumni is fine word, with alumni. me. <laughs> I'm fine with alumni, Tom. Like, That's what well, saying. all my friends were here because technically I was, technically I'm a super senior. Ooh. So wow. all my friends were here. And yeah, that's, that, so that, that, was that, was, that was, that must have been fun. Mm. That must have been fun. I had a fun what weekend as well. I, I spent time with you on Friday, which you was did. fun. You did. Because we're friends. We are friends. And we're not just we're not just well, he co-workers. We're, we're not co-workers. We're co-people. No. Mm. <laughs> co. Well, co we're co-friends. <laughs> co-friends. Co-people. We like each other a little we bit. Do. We do. Yeah. She, we're friends. I guess. He's right. I mean, I think I think she's my friend. I don't know if it's reciprocated, as they say. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I feel after <clears> the end of the show. Yeah, but. <laughs> on some sad news now, hmm. Natalie. I'm sorry. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to make not, you sad, but no, go ahead. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> say it anyway. There was um, there were tornadoes out in the Midwest yesterday, mm -hmm. which was awful. Yeah. I mean, a lot of devastation. I mean, I, I saw on the internet just all over. There was just just how like the whole town destroyed. There were like seven uh, places that were considered disaster mm -hmm. areas. Uh, it was Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio that mm -hmm. were all hit the worst. And uh, it was real bad that six people died. And, uh, I heard that you could feel yeah. it, though, through, like, 12 yeah. states, even yeah. though those ones were hit the hardest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's horrible, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, and I believe it was 65 tornadoes uh, touched down. And uh, it, just, it just wasn't good. Yeah, I saw the pictures. Uh, yeah, yeah it, was, it was real bad. Sad, like, it was so just, like, sad. a lot of people on, on Reddit um, were posting, like, pictures of the devastation. It was mm -hmm. just, like, just places were gone. Just like this guy was like, this, this is my house, it's gone, and it was just, just ramp, just shambles. And, but a lot of people were like staying hopeful, so they were putting like American flags on their devastation, just mm -hmm. looking positive at it. So that's good, and we hope everything, disaster relief, really yeah. uh, comes into play in the future there. So hopefully. Hope, hope, hope so. Hopefully. We can only <laughs> hope we, we would like. So, um, well. speaking of weather. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, light, that's a, that's a yeah. light transition. It's like speaking of weather, all this terrible thing happened. In the, but uh, we're going to take it over to Sarah with weather. So let's see what we got. Today will be 69 degrees with a low of 38. Be aware of wind gusts, especially on York Hill. That may reach 10, that may reach 40 miles per hour, and it will rain throughout the day. Tuesday will bring out those, bring out those coats, expect, expect some sun and clouds with a high of 49 degrees and a low of 29. Wednesday will be the same except for four degrees colder. Thursday will be 48 degrees with a low of 32 and the sun will be out with clouds. Friday will be 49 degrees with a low of 36 and mostly cloudy. Saturday, bring out those rain boots. It should rain all day with a high of 47 and a low of 25. Sunday, bring out the hats and gloves with a high of 39 degrees and a low of 17. And that will round out this week's weather. There may be some snow the next week, but have a great break and see you next semester. Back to you, Tom and Natalie. Well, thank you for that, Sarah. Yeah. That was a great weather report. Uh, I hope the weather uh, hope. stays like this yes, for today. Me too. It was nice and sunny. I like that. Love it. The 60s, the 50s, stay 50s, there. 50s. That's good for me. I am not down with the cold. I do not like it. No. I'm not looking forward to my ski jacket. It's such it's a flip-flop, though. Like last week until kind of the end of the week, it was freezing. No, oh, yeah. Like 30s. I, was, I, think I, I think I had hype, like my hands, like I almost had to cut them off. That's it's like freezing. I hate <clears throat> the worst part of winter is when your hands get all dry. Yeah. It is 
not oh, a happy time. God. I always need lotion all the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. It's awful. I hate it a lot. Whatever. So last night, apparently, Kanye went to Harvard and he talked about design. Talked about design. Was this just <laughs> I'm not in really general? sure what he knows about design. Did he just stand in the quad and just start talking about design? Or was this like no, he like went into a classroom and just sort of... Just found his way. Talked to these students. There were so many Instagram pictures on Instagram, obviously. On, on the Instagram. But Kim was there as well. Uh, so Kim, that's all. That's all good stuff. I'm really, I'm really like hoping it's, it was just Kanye just breaking into a classroom and mm. just start talking. <laughs> and they're like, "What is? Is this Kanye West?" Well, <laughs> just, like I guess it just shows that you don't really have to be that intelligent to go and speak at Yale. Or. Right? Harvard or anywhere or that's Harvard. an Ivy League. I can I can start talking in there. <laughs> I know. I don't know why I said Yale, but <laughs> Harvard and Yale kind of the same Har thing. Yeah, they're, they're like in the same boat. <laughs> they're in the same scheme. But, but I don't yeah. know. I, I didn't think he really knew much about design. Uh, like what kind of design? I don't know. Does like interior do? design? Other than making... Fashion design? Uh, other types of design that I can't think of at the current moment are the, I mean, I don't know what he... <laughs> well, we all know he probably was talking about fashion design. Because probably then fashion Because he was design. probably just... I know he was talking about something with Oprah. Oprah. Talking about how he had an interview yeah. with Oprah and it was like a self-realization. And I'm like, I don't know how exactly that design. I, I but sure, why not? I don't get it either. But I don't hopefully, really care hopefully the kids at Harvard learned something maybe. <laughs> mm. Had a good, they were entertained. I mean, that's all. I don't know how much they'll learn from him, news. but it's definitely entertaining. But definitely entertaining, but uh, so. we're going to move it off to a commercial break, so stick around. Sounds we'll be good. right back. The Bobcat Shop, located at 1010 Sherman Avenue in Hamden. Your number one choice for Bobcat merchandise. The Bobcat Shop features two floors of countless styles and colors. With a full 19,000 square foot screen printing and embroidery operation on the premises, Campus Customs and Simplify can design and decorate any garment or promotional product as quickly as needed. Stop in and say hi. Welcome back everybody to the morning after. We're glad to see you again. But, uh... There, was, I was going to say, we got some more somber yeah. news. Oh. This past week in the Philippines, there was a typhoon that killed at least 4,000 people now. That's the count. It's awful. And yeah. at least 4 million people were displaced. So that that's, was, that's, it's I, you know, sad. you had the tornadoes and now it we have this awful, typhoon. That terrible, terrible things. Happy apart. Monday, everyone. I know, right? I mean, gee. That's real. Real sad stuff. That, when it, uh, this was like earlier. I think like, this was, was like, a, yeah, like last Tuesday? week. It was Tuesday, probably like right after our show during, during that week. Okay. But. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I mean, I saw that uh, Facebook had to donate to the Red Cross, like $10 yeah. thing. So I've seen a lot of like Facebook postings. My best yeah. friend is Filipino, so mm -hmm. she was like sending out all these donation things. Yeah. And that's nice. I guess as much as we can help, that's what we try to Definitely do. Definitely so. as much as can. I mean, it's all really that you, really you can do at this point because it yeah. happened. Things just happened. So. Yeah. And you really, all that you can do is just support at this point. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's really it. It's not fair though. Like, it's not. you feel like, I guess we're lucky that we yeah. don't have yeah. these kind of things here. But, yeah. I mean, tornadoes, I guess, could happen anywhere. Yeah. But we've yeah. been lucky. We have yeah. kind of. Yeah, we're, we're in like a good other than geographical snow, area. Yeah, other for, than for snow, kind it's of kind thing. of. I mean, S Sandia was, was like, was real bad. But oh yeah. Other than that, that was like know. that was like a year ago. Yeah, was, yeah like was, last week or two weeks ago. That was a year ago. I think it. Yeah, about. But I'm. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Crazy. But it, it was around. We were all stuck here for like two uh, weeks. That was like that was a good week though. Was, like we had a. Did we have school off for a whole week? We had the school off for the whole week. Yeah. And then for the snowstorm, we also had. Like some like I think like three five three or four days. Three, Something four, like five that. days is the whole. We basically week. just didn't have any school last fall. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, yeah, we just missed a but. lot of school because of terrible, terrible things. Terrible, terrible um, things. Yeah, but uh, but I could use another snowstorm as long as I, I don't could, have to drive in it. I could use That's fine I with could me. use a snowstorm as long as I just hang out. Yeah. So yeah. So we're uh, so Elena, our <laughs> correspondent. Yes. I, I'm, I got to say that word. I got love saying I like correspondent. That too. She's a great correspondent. She <laughs> you went, say it uh, so well. I, Correspondent. I like it. <laughs> Correspondent. <laughs> no, but yes, uh, Elena went out and uh, asked students uh, who they would have uh, at their dinner table. I believe it was well, one know. celebrity. I know who I would have for dinner. Have. Who would you have for dinner? Well, we might find out. So, stick, <laughs> so check it out. 
Good morning, the morning after. I'm Elena DeAngelis, and my question today is, if you could have one person at your Thanksgiving dinner table, who would it be? You stop right there, and you're going to wait, and you're going to get interviewed. If you could have one famous person at your Thanksgiving dinner table, who would it be? Um, I think I would have Jennifer Lawrence at my dinner table, because she's awesome, and I think we should just be friends. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Justin Bieber. Of all people, you pick yes. him? Why? I love him. Okay, bye, thank you. <laughs> Demi Lovato. Good choice. I actually have her shirt on today. Look at that. It'd be Beyonce, because I love her, and yeah, she's cool. That's the best answer that I've heard yet. I'm very proud of you, thank, thank you. you. Anna Kendrick, do you want me to say why? Because I'm in love with her. And I'm going to marry her one day. Okay, good luck with that. Probably be Sacagawea. Did I say it right? Sure. Yeah, Sacagawea. All right, thank you. It would be Sydney Rossman, women's ice hockey goalie, number 34. We've nurtured a great relationship here. She's one of my best friends. Shout out to Sydney and the women's ice hockey team. I'm going to the game right now, Boston College. Let's go. Thor. But, like, not Chris Hemsworth, like, actual Thor, the god of thunder. Yes. That's very powerful. He is. <laughs> uh, probably Miley Cyrus. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> Happy twerky day! I personally think I would have Morgan Freeman come narrate my Thanksgiving dinner because what could be better than that? But I'm Elena DeAngelis. See you next time. So it was Anna Kendrick was the, <laughs> was the big reveal. The big reveal. who I would have at my, my dinner. And uh, it would be a lovely dinner. I would, I would go all in. If, if it was anyone Rana. living or dead, I'd have to say it would probably, for me, I'd probably say like Marilyn Monroe, but if it was someone alive, I'd probably have like Zac Efron, because he's Zac, so beautiful. Zac Efron. Zac. Yeah. Zacky boy. Yeah. He broke his jaw this weekend. How did he do or that? Or something. I don't know. I just read like a little snippet of it, so I have no idea, but I just know he broke his he jaw. Broke or his jaw. Wow. His jaw. But yeah, I mean. It's really sad. You, you find out a lot them. about these kids here <laughs> with the celebrities they're saying. Yeah. But now yeah, we got Wiz Khalifa going. What about I like, him? I like Wiz. I mean, he was one of oh. the people that was, was on there. Oh. But you know who did get to have dinner <laughs> with her real family? Not, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, not, that's not nice. Her, her biological family, let's say that. Mm. Um, this girl in Indiana, she uh, found her, like, all of her family members on Facebook, using Facebook, mm -hmm. um, in like a 36-hour time period, and she got to spend like all wow. spend, spend time with them. That's awesome. And it was after like 29 years, she was adopted, and uh, it was, it's a great story. I thought I would share with you and I love that. my friends watching. I love all that. those like happy. <clears throat> things I know it's, that it's like, and it's and and what I like is that it's it, like it's just showing social media in a in a positive light, because a lot of things can you know, go really well on social media. A lot of good things can come of it, and it yeah. gets a bad rap sometimes, so yeah. that's the, well, the message for that. Good for them. I'm, I'm happy for her. I'm happy for but. her as well. But uh, in other news, uh, we're going to send it to Taylor, who has news. some <laughs> odd news. So Taylor, what do you mm -hmm. got? Thanks, guys. Good morning. I'm Taylor Roberts with this morning's weird news. There's a town in Alaska that has had a cat as their mayor for 15 years now. The cat was named Honorary Mayor shortly after his birth, and now locals all know the cat as Mayor Stubbs. It's been that way for more than a decade in the small town that has almost 900 residents. As the story goes, 15 years ago, several of the town residents didn't like the candidates who were running for mayor, so as a joke, they encouraged enough people to elect Stubbs, the cat, as a write-in candidate, and he actually won. Now, thanks to Stubbs, local tour guides have a little fun with the thousands of tourists who come through the town each summer. The mayor is well-loved in the town and online. He already has more than 10,000 subscribers on Facebook. The mayor's office is said to be flooded with cards and letters from him and that 30 to 40 people come in each day hoping to meet the mayor. That is all. Back to you guys. Thank you, Taylor. And thanks, a cat, Taylor. A cat mayor. A cat mayor. A cat mayor. How does that happen? Like. That's just insane. 
I really enjoy that story though because I do as I well. Love cats, I like cats. I think I'm gonna be a crazy cat lady. I don't want you to be so, a crazy cat lady, Matt. I just want to have I like a million to, cats. Just... I like cats as well, but <laughs> I mean, I mean, like as a, I could see it like as a joke. Yeah. But then actually having him as the well, mayor. Well, they said it was as a joke. I know. So but, that's why I'm so confused as to like, like what. Like how I'm not happen. laughing. Why people actually <laughs> would want that as their mayor? Like, I, mean, I want to know who the secretary is. Like, dog. Spike. Like, Spike. Turtle. In, he's a golden retriever. Gerbil. Gerbil. We got what's his name? <laughs> Spike name the Ferret. The golden retriever. Ferret. Other domestic animals. Let's just name them off. There we go. We got parakeets, parrots. I want to know how he actually yeah. rules. Like, not rules, but. What like, duties he does governs, he have? He governs the going in the litter box. The, I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I can't even like. How, how, like, I don't know how that town functions with a cat as the mayor. That's why I don't understand it because I want to know who like actually does. Like, how's the cat gonna tell you what? It's so, like the cat's do. owner that does like a lot oh, of the I work. I guess that that would make sense. Maybe the cat's owner's the mayor now, and he's just Maybe he's just some like really just like some guy, owner. just some guy that like didn't want to be like the mayor at all. He just wanted to just live at home and. Hang out with his cat, it's and now true. he's the mayor. That could be possible. So uh, that, these are just all theories, guys. We uh, theories, theories, conspiracies, <laughs> all that jazz. But I mean, that's just that's just crazy to me. I can't even. But there's there's also a kid somewhere that's a kid, oh, like yeah, a young a, like, kid like an, that's a mayor eight year old. somewhere. Yeah, he's but, like eight years old. Oh. A lot of crazy mayors throughout crazy. the United States, and I guess around the world, maybe. I'm not sure mm -hmm. what's going on over there, because I live here. Yeah. But, <laughs> well, on that but note. On that note, we will take it over to movie review with Andrew. Yes. What do you have for us, Andrew? Hey everyone, Andrew here with another movie review. So this week, we know with Thanksgiving break just around the corner, I thought a Thanksgiving movie would be a good idea. So I asked the lovely producers to recommend a movie, and they recommended Thanksgiving, a movie about a killer turkey. And I have to say, it's probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. The plot is set after the first Thanksgiving, where an Indian tribe curses a turkey, and then the turkey commits a massacre on all the pilgrims. Fast forward about 500 years, and the turkey is back and <laughs> has the hunger to kill. As luck would have it, a group of college students stumble upon the killer turkey while camping. The kids are now target of the turkey's rage, and, and, one, by, and one by one fall victim to turkeys, the turkey's evil. Not only was the plot of the movie dumb, but also the acting was terrible. The actors were about one step up from that you would see in a porno. <laughs> Throughout the movie, I, com I was confused. Like, was the producer purposely making this movie suck or did it happen by accident? I would not recommend this movie unless you enjoy bad, low-budget films. Overall, I give the movie a four. I'm still confused and a little offended by the content in this movie and even more confused as to why my beloved producers recommended it. My final thought on this movie is that I wish I didn't watch this movie. Thanks, guys. Back to, Tom, back to you, Tom and Natalie. Thanks, Andrew. I mean, I liked Thanks Killing. I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't really like it. It's not like one of my mm -hmm. favorite movies, but it was just, it was, it was really dumb. I've never seen it before, so I, uh, I can't really comment it's, on it. It's worth your time. It's but, like an hour Well, Andrew and eight doesn't minutes. think it's worth it. Well, my Andrew time. is wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Andrew. I mean, I like you in every plot? other setting, but not, not today. By not how he explains today. it, I don't really understand, but yeah, whatever. I mean, I mean, it's a great movie about a killer turkey. Yeah. A lot of absurd things have been said in it, so you should check it out. Alrighty. But we're going to toss it over to commercial right now, so stick around. We'll Stay see you in a little bit. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Q Cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. Welcome back to the morning after, everyone. Glad to see you again. Hopefully you're still Sticking here. Around. Hopefully you're still here. I mean, there, you're, you're, you're trooping along. <laughs> that was a little mumble as well. But, we should just um, mumble for a whole shot and see if people everybody. understand what we're saying. But yeah, we're gonna, um, let's find out what's going on this week for events with yeah, Kelly. Kelly. Hey everyone, it's Kelly Ledwith and it's our last week here before break. There are a few things going on around campus right before we leave. 
Uh, so on Monday, there will be an all-you-can-eat Filipino dinner for Hay and Relief from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on the Mark Hamill Dining Hall Upper Cafe. It will be co-sponsored by the South Asian Society, QWMBA, Asian Student Alliance, and International Student Association in response to the devastation that happened last week because of the hurricane in the Philippines. So be sure to go out and support uh, with All You Can Eat for $5, and the proceeds go to the relief efforts. At 9 p.m. in Buckman Theater, there will also be a documentary shown, Give a Damn, about three friends who live off $1.25 a day across three continents, sponsored by the Student Programming Board, with a question and answer session right after the screening with the makers of the movie. Tuesday, the film Legally Blonde will be shown in the Student Center, Piazza, at 6 p.m., sponsored by Women in Support of Humanity. Also that night, Kappa Alpha Theta and CAP will be hosting Don't Forget the Lyrics at 9.15 p.m. in Burt Con Court with prizes for the winner. Admission is $3. On Wednesday, Amici Club is having Dominicio's Cater Italian Food. <laughs> $5 gets you all you can eat. Cue cards will be accepted. It will be from the Upper Cafe from 5 to 8 p.m. Come out for a little taste of Italy. Wednesday, QIC is sponsoring Ice Cream Social and SB 121 at 9.15 p.m. for those who want to take a break from studying. Friday, the residence hall is closed at 5 p.m., but have a great Thanksgiving break, everyone, and enjoy your time off. Back to you guys. Thanks, Thanks Kelly. Kelly. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of great like... events coming up, but more life upcoming events. Black Friday. Black Friday. So excited. Black Friday. So I excited. am... I don't. I haven't really ever gone Black Friday shopping, really? to be honest with you. I'm just. I think I'm afraid. I don't want to. I. Get I have in not. A, not many times, but I have gone, and it is pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. But it I've never gone me. to like the like really early like 5 a.m. shopping oh, crazy. where people are like pushing through the door. Yikes! Yeah. It's I mean, insane. I mean, the deals are are good. Well, apparently, Kmart and Walmart are both opening Thanksgiving morning. Which, I don't understand that. Wait, I mean, wait, you're gonna, like morning gonna, Thanksgiving. It's going to be open Thanksgiving morning until the end of Friday. Yes, just basically. Straight, just, oh my God, I, I would not, I, I would be annoyed if I was an employee. I just don't understand that. Like, people <laughs> have to spend the day with their families. Like, isn't that what Thanksgiving oh, is yeah. all about? So That is what it's all about. It's about that and watching football. I, so, <laughs> well, I guess I just don't, I don't I like that. I guess the people who want to go out shopping that early can go out. But. I mean, that's just a, that's that that's crazy. I think, and then, yeah. and then it, it, it like takes away from Black Friday itself. Yeah. So I mean, well, I mean, I don't know. We'll head over to Cynthia and find out what's going on in the world of entertainment. Cynthia. Thanks, guys. Here's what's going on in the world of entertainment. First and foremost, let's start off with Justin Bieber. The wannabe gangsta pop star threw a rager at his house over the weekend. Everyone was having a good time except for his neighbor, who called the police three times. Bieber was written up for disturbing the peace, and the party was dispersed. Oh, Justin, I get that you just want to have fun, but a house party at 5 a.m.? No, that are just doing the most. In other news, we all know about what Miley Cyrus is doing. The former Hannah Montana star thought it would be funny to light up a blunt at the EMAs. The only thing that upset me is why she didn't decide to share. So stingy. We get it, Miley. You're no longer Hannah Montana. Now put on some clothes and stop doing the most. Well, that's all I have for entertainment. Back to you guys. Thank you, Cynthia. Ugh. Bieber I'm, again. I'm sick and what? tired I, I am, of hearing about Justin Bieber. Who cares for like, God's I sake? I don't care. He's like a pop star for like 13-year-old girls. And we're like 20, I'm 21, you're 22. Two. 22. 22. Oh. Two. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm 21, yeah. yeah I'm, 21. I'm 21. 20. <laughs> I'm just gonna count not, the years back from now on. But um, but I mean, like, who cares? You had a party, big deal. A lot of people have parties. There were, it's either like Bieber or it's Miley. So I don't Bieber, know like who Miley, I'm more sick of. Kim. Kim. Like, I, I read a like I was. Kim and her I, baby. I, I was reading a story last night that Kanye West was not in the Kardashian Christmas special. Oh, yeah, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? He was probably I don't on care. his his tour. And he was like, oh, I don't care. I'm I'm not on. I don't <laughs> And he's like, he, he like photoshopped himself in like a Christmas picture, which I oh thought was hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious that he did that. Wow. But uh, we're going to toss it over to commercial right now. No, oh. we're going to actually uh, send uh, yeah. it over to our crew who did a dance competition thingy. Well, that sounds better than a commercial. And, well, they dare, no, they dared people to dance. Did they? And, did so, they, and let's see if I'm they sure did it or not. I'm sure you can be entertained by this. Let's so. see if they did it or not. Let's, 
Well, let's see what happens. I had longer hair, so like, well, <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, it's the morning after. Today we have a Thanksgiving treat for you. Some of our anchors and correspondents are going around and we're doing a dance there. So, putting it all on the line. So how do you feel about this weather lately? It's been... Yeah, it's like last week it's so cold and you see I wear a lot of it. Uh, well, I'm from Florida myself, so uh, I love this weather. I hate the snow. Um, well, I'm excited because it's warm out. Yeah, so we've gone from snow, now it's hot again. How are you, how's that, you know, how do you think kids are taking that? Well. All right, so how are you feeling about this weather lately? You went from snowing earlier this week to now it's hot out. Kids aren't even wearing coats. I really like the warm weather. The cold was a little unbearable walking to class, but I like this weather. Yeah. It's been good lately. It's been good. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's wearing sweatshirts and you just look weird. But um, otherwise, during the day, it looks nice. You get to dress normal. Isn't it the worst? You don't know what to wear. You're bundled up, and then afternoon you get into class, and you're just you're sweating. Yeah. It's a problem. It's the worst. It's the worst. Well, thank you so much. Have a great day. I mean, the weather has a mind of its own. It's a little annoying, but um, it's going to take some getting used to. It's really nice. It's like a continuation of summer, really, so I'm kind of happy. I thought it would be really cold once I got here. Are you looking forward to winter, or are you, are you not ready yet? I'm looking forward to the skiing, but not the cold. I'd like to say that I think it's nice, it's finally good, nice weather today, but the cold just has to go. It really does have to go. Winter hasn't even, it's not even winter yet. How are you going to feel about that? I'm probably just going to hide in my house all day long and not come to class, so. All right, well, thank you so much. Have a great day. You too, thanks. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I'd rather it be a lot colder because I'm expecting that, but like today, I threw on a huge jacket and now it's like hot, so. I like it. I like it warm. Uh, uh, the weather's actually really nice. It's been very nice. It's been cold. Uh, it's getting a little bit nicer. People are dancing behind me, which I guess, <laughs> which I guess elevates the uh, the whole situation. So yeah, I'm yeah you know, I'm pretty fond of it. Right, well, thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> all right, this was Kelly Ledwith, and we went around, we danced, stared, and uh, you saw it all here at Quinnipiac. Back to you guys. That was pretty entertaining. <laughs> That was quite entertaining, if you ask me. I love that. I um, love like those little, little clips of people. I can I can dance messing too. Around. This is, this is, this is, Let's recruit my, some new these dancers. Are, these, are, these are my moves. For the morning after, they can just stand next to us and dance with us. I just want to dance now. <laughs> I think we're Tom, Tom's gonna be fired after today too as well. Mm -hmm. So, but <laughs> See? Yeah. we'll be right back like, with some the, bad holiday like gifts and trivia. So stay with us. The Bobcat Shop, located at 1010 Sherman Avenue in Hamden. Your number one choice for Bobcat merchandise. The Bobcat Shop features two floors of countless styles and colors. With a full 19,000 square foot screen printing and embroidery operation on the premises, Campus Customs and Simplify can design and decorate any garment or promotional product as quickly as needed. Stop in and say hi. Back to the morning after. Back. We are back. So, we are. Natalie, how are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm great. No, I'm all tired out from that dancing before. Well, speaking of tired, tired, do you ever not have any, or well, me personally, I can never fall asleep at night. Natalie, what are you talking about? It'll roll up. I'm just gonna just, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> from the top. <laughs> no. Right, okay. Like at nighttime, I can never fall asleep. I don't know if it's just me, right. but... I, I'm with you. So I was looking up, you know, maybe reasons why I couldn't fall asleep, and I found an article on the five foods that would probably make you not be able to sleep. So it was basically, well, five things that wouldn't help you sleep. So it was basically like acidy, tomato-based foods, which, I mean, I don't think I'm really... I guess that's like pasta and stuff like that. Yeah. Like tomato um, sauce. Type tomato thing. sauce. I mean, and I've stuff eaten, like that. I've eaten my fair share of chicken parm and fallen asleep right after. So yeah, I, mean, I can't. See, I don't. I can't know. really vouch, vouch. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it was things like it said a lot of things about like fluids and things like that. So I guess like drinking like a lot of like anything like soda or caffeine, mm -hmm. alcohol. alcohol. It said alcohol. <laughs> mm -hmm. It said you have to drink like I think two hours or an hour before bed. To like go to sleep anything, anything, hour. to go to sleep at 
like a good time because they, you're apparently gonna like wake up in the middle of the night and like have to go to the bathroom all the time. Yeah, that sounds about right. But I mean, I don't know if I really believe the whole foods thing, but. I don't, I don't know, I feel like it's just a personal thing. Because yeah, time. like a lot of the times I eat like junk food and then I go to bed and have no problem, but yeah. other nights I'm like sitting up and it also, I mean, it also depends. Like, if you take a nap at like eight o'clock at night, yeah, and you wake up at ten, you're not gonna go to sleep until like four. Yeah, naps like are not way. a good idea sometimes because yeah. then you can't go to sleep at night, regardless. Mm -hmm. Take one yeah. in the middle of the day. I mean, well, speaking of the devil. The devil. The de the devil. We were speaking of the devil. <laughs> the devil. I know, um, <laughs> no, but uh, I took a nap at five yesterday, mm -hmm. and I still managed to get to bed by twelve thirty. Really? That's insane. That's I, pretty good. I can't good. even think of how that happened. So proud in a logical of you, Tom. Way. I can't even Well, good for it. you. I had like three hours of sleep last night, so. <laughs> Whatever, Tom. That was just a bunch of dramatic glasses. <laughs> we're going to head over to Tori. See, you know, kind of getting into the holiday season. It, so we're going to see some of the yeah, worst holiday yeah. gifts. So, let's, so let's Tori, see. what do you have for us? Hey guys, I'm Tori Hartman, and today we went around campus asking people what their worst holiday gift was. Okay, so what is the worst gift that you've ever gotten? Probably it would have to be a book. My friend, I had a best friend like in elementary school, and it was the saddest thing because she gave me a book, and then she gave my other friend like a stuffed animal or like a doll. And then I'm just like, so you give me a book? Like I even complained about it. And then she's like, oh really, you don't like the gift? Fine, I'll take it back. And then she didn't give me anything. So I got nothing in the end. <laughs> it was a book of bunny suicides. And I love bunnies. They're like my favorite animal ever. I think they're the cutest things. And he, every book had a different way of a bunny killing itself. And there was at least 50 pages. And every page had been signed by one of my friends. And it was the most awkward gift ever, especially, yeah, especially since I put a lot of effort into his gift. I got a wood burning set for Christmas once. Well, one time my friend for Christmas got a uh, steering wheel lock, and uh, I think that was probably one of the worst gifts I've, I've heard of. I think the worst holiday gift I've ever gotten was a really bad pair of jeans. They were hideous, and they were like a really weird color. It was bad. Uh, definitely getting socks when I was eight years old, because who wants the socks then? Socks. <laughs> we got socks. A pink Power Ranger. Yeah. Uh, last year, my aunt gave me a Toys R Us gift card. Yeah. The worst holiday gift I've ever gotten was coal. Wow. Actually, we're giving coal. Yes. It was something pretty funny, though, you know? It was Christmas, I went in this bag, I'm like, ooh, what am I going to get from my cousin? And then bam, it was cold, and I was like, wow, everybody laughed at me. I laughed too, but then I opened it up again, there was makeup in there, so it was good. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. So there you have it, guys, you've heard them all. Socks is a definite no-no, but now you know for the future. Hope you all have a great holiday. Back to the host. Thanks, Tori. We're gonna we're, take a, yes. Yeah, we're gonna, no, <laughs> I you, was waiting no, you for now, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we're going to take it to a quick commercial break. Yes. And we'll be back with trivia. So sure. stick around. That's going to be an entertaining. Don't forget to come later. back. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Cue cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney, here at Ray and Mike's. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Right now we have Nick with trivia. Nicholas. Nick. Okay, Nicholas. so let's see. We got Tom with two and Natalie with, well, Zero. it doesn't say. Uh, maybe they're just too so kind. Means, I had, I had too many. Too many. Too. Just couldn't fit there. Well, so <laughs> let's get right to it. Um, what was the first movie that Martin Scorsese won Best Director for? Come on. I just must be a horrible trivia person because I don't even know what he's directed. Come on. Direct a lot of films. Anybody want to tell me? Come on, Secret? Nick. You're going to extend my lead? Tom thinks he's got it. I and I think he Tom might have it too. Tom probably has it. I don't even right. know anything, Tom. Well, I'll let you guess first, Natalie, since you don't seem as cocky as Tom. <laughs> I don't even have one written down. Um, let's see. He, I don't even know anything he's directed. I'm just going to guess a movie. Um, no, I don't know. 
Just go, Tom. They did you won anyways. It. It's The Departed. They did yeah, he did not win for Taxi Driver or Goodfellas or Raging Bull or even The Aviator. He won with The Departed. <laughs> this is my this is this is my celebration, <laughs> Jess. I'm riding a I bike. I literally have not gotten one point. One point. Update this. There you go. This is beautiful. Do you like my bike celebration? I'm here? just gonna write. Um, Natalie, three, Tom, one. There you go. There you go, Nick. Even though it's the other way around, even though Natalie actually has zero still. <gasps> yeah, it's one of those. I'm never going to have a chance to get redemption. It's all right. It's all right, Natalie. Leaving. I'll, I'll still think of you as a, as a good person. This is really sad. <laughs> Thanks, <What>? Tom. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to cry. <laughs> I said I wouldn't cry. Fine. But seriously, though. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun, Nick. <laughs> see we'll you see you later. <laughs> but um, soon, uh, coming up. Finals. Soon, winter yeah, break. Yeah, finals. So everyone, please do well in your finals. Yes. So you can watch more the morning I don't, after. I don't really have any finals. Because this is so a closed circuit lucky. station. <laughs> so please do good on your finals. Have fun uh, on winter want break. want Natalie to do well in her finals. Have fun on winter break. Be fun. safe. <laughs> don't do anything I wouldn't do. Because that, that, I mean, that's like a lot of things. But Natalie, leaving. Natalie, you're leaving. I'm leaving. Um, you're leaving, and it, makes, and it makes me sad, and I don't want to talk about it, but they're making me. So I'm sorry. I, I'm going to miss you. It's not goodbye. It's, it's not. see you later. Just don't, just don't <laughs> be sad that it, ha it happened. I know. So, well, I, I won't be. I'll see, you, I'll see you goes, on spring break. I will see you on spring break. Me and I'll Tom have... If, made for plans. those who don't know, Natalie will be working for Disney this uh, spring. Yeah, so, interning. Yeah, but it's gonna. I be wish a, working. That'd be nice. It's, it's gonna be. Maybe if they see this, it's gonna hire be me. a good experience for you, Nat. I'm real happy for you. <laughs> I am so, so. I'm excited. So please, Nervous. please serve us well here. The morning after, tell everyone of what you saw here. I will. At Disney. I'll say hi tell to them, Mickey. Tell them about me, especially Walt. I like, will. Wake him up. Wake him up. <laughs> Wake him up. I don't know if Come that's on. possible, he's, he's gonna, but he's got a nice we'll pick. Nice oh, that's pick. Like right. He's like frozen. Or he's frozen right? somewhere. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll find him. Maybe I'll hopefully. find him. If you, if you do take a picture with him, it's like... Selfie. selfie Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> me, <laughs> me and Walt. <laughs> okay. Frozen. Right. Frozen cube. Of <laughs> Can this not be the last person. thing that we said? Yeah, let's not. Let's, change, let's say something but, else. But yeah, so have a good winter break. You too, Natalie. Daffodils and... And flowers and, and other flowers, great things. Snow. Snow. Christmas. Uh, yeah, presents. So, so, uh, yeah, We're just going to just Chris start Kringle. naming things. Chris and Kringle. We've been, I've been listing a lot of things already this show, so I mean, let's just get it on. Joy. Joy. Happiness. Family. Tranquility. <laughs> are all good words. Um, oh, so, well, we well, had fun with you guys this semester. Yeah, Thank and, you so much. And especially today. This was a good, yes, this was a real this fun This was a fun this show. Was, this was a good one. I, had, I danced. That was, that was nuts. I don't Ugh. do that ever. But, well. You, We'll miss you guys. So. I didn't dance, but but you still have shoulder fun. dance. But thanks for watching. <laughs> if you uh, want to join Q30, please join Q30. <laughs> There's information yeah. sessions at the beginning of each semester, so you guys can find out yeah. how to join us. Yes, but um, and you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Yes, the there are some Instagrams, I believe, for some of the shows. So check that out. We uh, we're gonna we look forward to seeing you next semester. Yes. So. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you guys. I love you, Tom. I love you, Natalie. Bye.